Hello everyone, Karnasa Games here, and welcome back to the Kingdom of Beck. And we are following straight on from the disastrous events of last episode. Yes, they were pretty disastrous. We lost two of our colonists, we lost Rose Barnello, and we lost Theodore, the android pilot. And obviously that was a big impact, but we are st following straight on, literally. I am recording this five minutes after actually those events happened and yes I got a little bit excited at the end of last episode because everything seemed to be going rather badly. Well yes, it's the, the first death we've had in the colony. Everyone has been taken aback quite a bit. Everyone is really feeling the events of the last episode and obviously Stanley and Agent were also injured as well in the attack. Stanley, <laughs> she's been through a rather lot recently. She lost her leg in the raid before and then obviously she got, she didn't actually get shot by Agent in the end, she just got a little bit bitten up by those snow hairs. Who would have thought the rabid rabbits, they would have been the downfall of two of our important colonists and obviously we now have two colonists that we need to deal with. We have lost two people that we need to bury and that brings me to this room over here that has not had, well it's not had a use at all and I have decided now that we actually need to bury people this is going to be made into a crypt, well a kind of crypt, a sarcophagi room. We are going to place some sarcophagi in here so that we can actually give our dead colonists a little bit of dignity and we can bury them somewhere nice and our settlers, subjects, oh I forgot again, our subjects can go in and view the deceased and in a very rather pretty environment and unfortunately Rose was our main girl at construction and she died so it's going to be up to Wilson to actually build this up so it's not going to be as nice as it may have been when obviously Rose was alive but still Wilson has a fairly decent construction if we find him over here, click on his bio, his construction is 9, so he can do it, it's just not going to be as grand or as opulent as say had Rose done it, but we will get on with that tomorrow morning because the night has fallen, everyone is very tired from the events of yesterday, people need to go relax and oh my god Randy why? We have been hit with the plague and it is Stanley. Stanley is really not having the best of luck at the moment. She has plague, she has lost her leg and she has also suffered the rabid rabbit. So, oh Randy, Randy you are not being kind to our colony at the moment. We had 17, well 16 episodes of pure good luck and now finally it is all catching up to us. And the morning rises on this sombre day, the day after the death of two of our colonists, and we appear to have an infection. Agent is sick with an infection, it is in his torso. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So Agent, it's only minor. I think... Yes, I think we want you to bed rest. Let's rest until healed. We cannot lose anyone else. Luckily, he is our main medical man and he should be able to survive it, weather the storm. But also, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, this this has really been a poor few days. This, yeah, this, this has been rather bad, hasn't it? It's not gone well at all. So I think primarily for this episode, we're going to have to hunker down. We're going to have to try and outlast any other dangerous threats that come our way because we are running <laughs> on a diminished kind of capacity at the moment. Agent will be out of the picture for a while. We might even have to bring Beck out of research and get her to construct. In fact, I think yes, that's what we are going to do. Beck, your research, thank you so much for being the prime researcher for such a long time. But now that we have lost Rose, we need someone else to do all of the, the construction around the colony. And I think if we go into the work tab, she is actually one of the better people at doing it and we are definitely going to need that. The research that we're getting on at the moment isn't particularly crucial so we definitely can afford to have her come out and about and do something different and 
I mean, she has spent her almost her entire time at the Kingdom of Beck, locked away in that room, researching for us. What was that ding for? Colonists left unburied. Yes, I know. I know, there's nothing we can do at the moment though. Well, we can get in a sarcophagus, so do we have enough marble to create two of these? I don't think we do, so we'll, we'll, we'll create one for now. And I think what we'll do is, we'll, well, we'll put them both there and we will assign Beck to, I thought I had set this up to be reinstalled, reinstall there please can we assign Beck to do that no we cannot why can't Beck do that I don't know why can cannot use because the internal ha huh. well maybe it's because it's for prisoners let's have a look can we do that now no cannot use Beck why oh huh why can't we do that? That seems rather peculiar. Let's let's try one more time. Beck. Nope. Nope. It's just straight up refusing me to be able to do that. So let's not do reinstall. Let's just set it to be uninstalled. So Beck, maybe there we go. Now she can uninstall it. I don't know why that was happening. That was rather weird. But then we can go and manually reinstall it. And at the same time, we can also get Beck to come in here, or maybe Wilson. Wilson will come in here and work on these sarcophagi. Cool, that's been done. Let's get that over here and place that there. And yeah, that will be that will be very nice in our factory. It's an Android pod, so I feel like it actually kind of fits in there. But hopefully, Wilson can come over and prioritize working on this sarcophagus. Our crypt needs to be built up. We have two dead colonists sat out in the open they will be desiccating we need them out out of the way out of the way of the baking sun i'm not sure that's going to be a particularly pleasant sight let's have a quick check up on agent and see how he is faring with that infection ah his immunity is very 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 high compared to his the disease progress so it looks like agent will be fine which is nice, we aren't going to lose agents to that infection. If we would have lost another colonist due to infection, well, that would have been really, really, really upsetting. But no, agent will pull through, hopefully. As long as he doesn't do too much. But, no, 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 he is definitely safe. He's already at 55% and the disease is very far behind. And now that that has been built, let's get someone. Wilson, are you going? No, you are maintaining battery. Wilson. I would have thought maybe contains storage. Contents, contained items. How do we set it? Assign colonist, here we go. Let's assign it to Rose the Builder. Wilson, go bury that girl, please. Prioritise burying Rose. Ah, oh, we will say our fond farewell to Rose shortly. I hope they uh, arrange a funeral for her because that would be rather fitting. She has been in our colony since the start, so it would be nice if, yes, we had a funeral in Rose Barnello's honour to really say goodbye to the great woman that she was. Well, another slow day dawns on us in this far-flung rim world and someone needs rescue stanley is that because you were stoned yes <laughs> because of her plague and because she's been smoking the old wacky backy she has decided to pass out in our production room silly stanley silly stanley the girl but agent has been an absolute hero and gone and rescued her let's check immunity 89 percent, and it's only 57 percent. so agent is definitely going to be okay but Let's check how her plague is coming on. So she's at 64% and immunity at 79. So yes, Stanley is going to be fine as well. We are okay. We are not going to lose anyone to these diseases that have ravaged our colony over the past few days. And Wilson, let's see. Yes, no, we don't have enough marble blocks, unfortunately, to actually finish building this. And I think Theodore was our main man when it came to crafting. So let's have a look. 
and see if we've got anyone else that can do that. Wilson, Wilson is also set to crafting, yes. Oh man, losing colonists really hurts, doesn't it? Because now, now what do we do? Who will, who will craft? Well, we don't really want Agent to be crafting. I think, Beck, Beck, let's get you, let's get you to craft up some blocks. Because we need the marble to actually finish this sarcophagi. We can't just leave Theodore let out in the, in the open, rotting away, desiccating away. No, we need to patch him, not patch him up. He's dead already. We need to grab him and we need to bury his corpse. He is an android, but we treat androids like all other citizens here at the Kingdom of Beck. They are people too. They will have a grand sarcophagi in our, in our inner chambers. I mean, he's not been with us particularly long, Theodore, but I feel like in the time that he was here, he obviously got to know everyone, everyone enjoyed his company, even though he was simple-minded and he probably didn't have an awful lot to say, but still, no, we can't just leave him unburied and we don't really want him to have a, a rather rubbish little grave outside, no, he, he deserves to be buried with honour and dignity and he will be in our sarcophagi room, our crypt, deep within the castle of Beck, no, he, he deserves that much, he tried to fend off the rabid rabbits. He, he gave, he gave his life in the duty of the Kingdom of Beck, so no, he definitely deserves to be buried in there. Anyway, <laughs> yes, enough about burying that android. Let's have a look. Wilson is almost finished doing this oil well. Now, we need to power it, so let's get a little bit of a power conduit over up here. I don't know why that couldn't connect to there. Uh, maybe it's a little bit too far away, but oh look, there we go, we've almost finished this inn as well. Well, the outside structure of the inn, let's see, do we have, yes, we do have enough blocks now to actually finish that sarcophagi. And we've also got a new quest available, a collection of fortune. Uh, just 14 Glitter World Medicine, I think I'm alright to leave that be. <laughs> we are almost certainly not in a position to be leaving the castle at the moment. We are very, very, very crippled. We have lost a lot these past couple of episodes and we need to really focus on not going out and getting Glitter World Medicine. No, we have things that we really need to be doing. And uh, I think that's enough slate blocks and marble blocks for now. Beck, let's actually craft this, this peg leg because yeah, we, we, we need Stanley, Stanley, yes. No, is it Stanley? Yes, Stanley is the one that is currently legless. You know, we need this to be installed on Stanley. I say installed, it's a peg leg, mate, like roughly kind of just thrown on. She's going to be a bit of a pirate, Stanley. And I mean, she was a pirate. I believe she was one of the raiders that attacked us. So it's only fitting that we give her the peg leg, but let's go into her health now. She's developed plague. Developed plague? She's developed immunity from the plague, so that's also very nice. And let's, let's make sure that we've got the right leg. It's the, <laughs> coincidentally, it is the right leg. Let's install a peg leg on her right leg. There we go. Now, Agent is our best doctor, yes, and I think he is actually fairly decent at medical, medical matters. Well, nine. Hopefully that's going to be enough to to heal, to install this peg leg on Stanley without disastrous consequences, which somehow always seem to happen when you perform surgeries in this game. Well, another thing that's occurring, we appear to be having a little bit of an issue with power. Yes, last night, all of the lights went out in our magnificent castle. So I think we may have to start looking at using our backup power because I don't think these solar panels and these wind turbines are providing enough power to fill these batteries during the day. Because yes, it's been a couple of nights now that we've actually lost power. Well, we've run out. We've run out of juice overnight. Why is Stanley in bed? Oh, it's because she's awaiting her operation agent. Oh, there we go. Let's, uh, let's follow him and see if he is successful in this surgery. I mean, it shouldn't be too difficult. All he is doing is ramming a little stick, a wooden plank, essentially, onto the end of her knee. Come on, agent, we know you can do it. 
Ah, there we go. He was successful. She now has a peg leg on. Sweet. So Stanley won't be as quick as she was before, but she will be a little bit faster than she was when she only had one leg. So that's that's very good news indeed. And this little path up here it looks like it is almost done as well. So another another bright thing to uh, to look forward to is to getting this done. Although we do need to build that sleep wall around there, and I. Th think we don't have enough. Oh, and thrombo thrombos have occurred. They have wandered into our vicinity. How many are there? There are two. Oh, so that's bad. The fact that there are two mean that my colony wealth is getting quite high to actually spawn a couple of them. So we need to be really careful about future raids. Let's have a look. How much slate do we have left? Oh, we have now completely run out of slate. So we need to craft up some more before we actually get this little bit done here. Huh. So I believe we have got stuff set to be hauled. Agent, if you would kindly go and prioritize hauling some of this, please. Let's get, if we get eight chunks and we will assign those to be hauled urgently because no one will craft these up at the moment because well, no one's assigned to craft- well, no, not because no one's assigned to crafting, we can't craft them up due to the fact that we don't have any actually in here. So, Agent, if you could go and kindly haul some of that stuff over, there we go. That's a good Agent, 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 lifting those heavy stone chunks and bringing them all the way back into the castle. Stanley is no longer incapable of walking, perfect, brilliant, everything is going our way, everything is going swimmingly. This has been a much better episode than the last two, I tell you that, although we're not at the end yet. So, hopefully I have not spoken too soon. We are going to have to get Beck back on research at some point, because we can't just leave her doing this. We, we do need to get research to make ourselves better. And I didn't realise we had an agricultural trader and a bulk goods trader over. Great. That's... That was a bit silly of me. We could have made some decent trades. And I mean, we do have a rather large amount of smoke leaf joints that we could sell, I think. Or have we sold them all? No, I think we've sold them all. And of course, because we've lost Theodore, we're not actually producing anywhere near as many as we have been in the past. So our production line is basically screwed. We have really slowed down on making money for this colony, which is a bit of a shame. But there we go, Beck appears to have made quite a few slate chunks now, and there we go, as I was saying, there goes all the power. Oh, but hopefully we will gain that all back in the morning once the solar panels decide to activate again. And yes, those solar panels are doing their job and they are thankfully giving us a little bit of juice back. But there was something that I wanted to do, we need to turn this off when we're not actively using it, and hopefully that should prevent us losing all of that power. Oh yes, of course, we kept Beck up very late, so she is going to be sleeping there. Wilson, if you could, my man, my android man, once you've finished maintaining that, please could you come over here and finish this, because it would be a real terrible shame <laughs> if we were to lose this to a raid, but We've only actually got the oil well up at the moment. Something else that we need to do is actually build the refinery and all of the stuff that we can use to actually turn it into useful product. So I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to put this. Like we could make a chem fuel power plant and that is definitely something that I want to do because as, as you saw in the previous evening, we are running out of power rather quickly now that we have, well, a lot of different things going on in the colony. I think what we might do, actually, let's turn that off because that uses an awful lot of power for what it is when we're not actively using it. So yes, I think we'll turn that off. We don't really need it at the moment. There's not any particularly pressing bills on there that we are going to use. So, oh, Wilson, man, why have you only done one? Come on, please. Please go and do that. It won't take you long, I promise. And yes, let's get Theodore unforbidden so we can actually bury him in this lovely sarcophagi that we made for him. It's only normal. 
The one for Rose was good. I feel that's definitely fitting. Rose deserved the better one. She was in the colony from the start. So yes, she knew she knew Beck for a very long time. She was Beck's kind of handmaiden after all. So Rose definitely deserves the better sarcophagus there. But let's assign this to Theodore. Where are you? Theodore pilot. There we go. So now someone can Please go and pick up that dead android and bury him. That would be rather nice if you could do that. Let's have a look. Who? Ah, there we go. Stanley is already on the case. Stanley, the girl who can now move a little bit quicker, is doing that. And actually, hang on. I don't know if that foot there is blue because she's got a peg leg. That would be really cool if that was. It would be a nice little touch from the facial features mod where those hands and feet are added. I know some people really, really hate those, but I don't know, I, I find like the floating bodies to be a little bit weirder and also it just looks rather comical, just, just, just the way the feet move and you do get some weird moments with it at times, like a couple of episodes ago when Agent was trying to put out the fire on the boom lope up here and his hands just decided to go all over the place in weird directions and just have a little bit of a mind of their own, so you do get some comical Comedic, oh, hello, actually, whoa, I just sped that up and that's not good. Richmond has become the target of a Dune list. Richmond, where are you? And it's going to be this one. Oh, well, this is very reminiscent of early days <laughs> of this series. When, uh, yeah, no, we lost people. We didn't lose people, but... We became the target of these savage spider creatures that plague our desert. Where is Agent? Agent, you are needed with your assault rifle. Please, for the love of everything, do not shoot any of our colonists. Beck, we will also get you on the case. Wilson, I believe you are okay to start shooting. There we go. That thing has turned to face us straight away and it is going right after our princess, but no, it has been killed. The threat has passed. Thankfully, no one was injured. That pistol that Wilson holds is definitely the key to our success there. I probably should have sent him out after those man-hunting snow rabbits because he would have been rather useful. He would have been rather useful indeed. Maybe, maybe we wouldn't have lost. Lost Rose and Theodore in the way that we did if Wilson had actually been there and working, working on killing those rabid rabbits. Oh, come on. No, are, you, are you serious? Oh, no. Beck, Beck is there to save the day. And then finally, no, no, we don't want this to be roofed. Please don't roof this. Remove roof area. There we go. Get rid of that roof. Get rid of that roof, Beck. There we go. It's done. I, I don't think this thing here should be roofed. I feel like that is a very silly idea. Well, particularly as the oil well anyway is a rather large structure. Oh, and it would appear Dice's Brook is now once again in danger. Let's have a look. The attacking power is six. How are we supposed to deal with that? They're going to have to, they're going to suffer defeat once again, unfortunately. But that will come in a future episode because I am probably overrunning now but then we've had a lot to do in this episode but if you have enjoyed this episode why not give it a like and if you have really enjoyed it and want to keep up with the content that i'm putting out please please do subscribe to my channel but i have been carnassa games and i will see you later